All right, Shalom. I want to start by saying, Kohaloh, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Chai, Bashem, Kakadash, double honor to the Pots of Israel, aka the Pots of the Great Millstone, and peace of love to all of Akin. Continue to appreciate your truth. Hold on. In all truth and sincerity. All right, real quick, you know, this is uh, to land back on uh, points brothers are speaking about on camp and camp this past Saturday. Um, you know, basically for the, uh, the message and uh, the significance of this truth and that the fact of really, like, as, as the screen says, it's not for everyone, right? And that includes not for, not for everyone in Israel, all right? Every person that's of the seed of, seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob on this, very, on this side we're on right now and Bab the daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America, every Israelite is not going to get salvation through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? They don't get salvation when they're born back in the kingdom, all right? But... You know, because, you know, when we go out there, you know, to brothers that, you know, just newly started going out there or brothers even going out there that's been going out there for a minute. You know, sometimes it can get, um, it can get frustrated sometimes. If people don't want to listen. People don't want to learn. You know, people come against you, scoffing, so on and so forth, even as well as, you know, on the comment boards and things like that. But what you got to understand is, like, this, 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 this truth, the world hates, all right? And the, the person that fuels that hate is who? Esau. Esau Edom, all right? Because he's the one... Do this, do you do what the Lord did, has him ruling. But like he's the one that really puts, because everybody follows what Esau does. So Esau don't get jiggy with this truth. So he's gonna do everything in his power to demonize it. You had that thing that happened in um, uh, I forget the name of the uh, city, but you know the dude that ran over the people at the Christmas at this at the little Christmas thing. He ran over like fifteen people. You know they said he basically was um connected and he was affiliated with uh, Hebrew Israelite doctrine. All right. But, you know, to, to the point I want to bring out is like, look, this message is only going on to the, to the ones that sigh and cry. And that's really that's really that's the only people that's about right now, because you can't worry about the whole nation of Israel because the whole nation of Israel is not meant to get it on this side. All right. Because we're in a time where the Lord is going to separate the elite Israelites from the from the low tier Israelites. All right. Because, you know, you got your friends, family members, you know, acquaintances and all that and just any, any random Jake to you. You know, they, they don't, no, nobody wants to hear this truth, man, because this, this goes against everything this world says is good. That's why it says, what, well, most of them that call good evil and evil good, because that's what this world does. They call evil good. You know, they welcome everything that the Lord said is an abomination. That's why this truth is not for everyone. That's why everybody's not going to get it, because you have some people that's going to be too stuck in their ways in this Babylonian, American, you know, wicked way of life. All right. So I'm going to bring up the scripture and Lord willingness be edifying. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 61 and I'm going to start at the top and it reads, The spirit of the Lord Yahweh is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Now who's the meek? The Israelites. P -p -p Most importantly, the, um, the, the elect. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. The brokenhearted. Who's the brokenhearted? The ones that want to get the hell out of here, man. The ones that want to get into a, a righteous and glorif glorified kingdom, man. Most importantly, a righteous kingdom, man. Because this place we're at right now is not a righteous kingdom. And it doesn't promote righteousness. It promotes wickedness. So if, you're, so if you have a righteous mind, this place will break your heart every time you have to be here. All right? It says, to proclaim liberty to the captives. And we're the captives, man. Because we're behind enemy lines. We're the ones in the land of our captivity. These other nations are not in captivity, man. These other nations could come here. They could prosper. They could, they could, they could do whatever. And, and, and Esau allows it. They could pray to their gods. They, they even, so-called, you know, the, the, the Muslims did the 9-11. The Arabs did the 9-11. They still give them liberty. All right? And it says, uh, he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. So to the point, you know, when uh, the elder brothers, we're talking about, like, yo, th th this is the brokenhearted ones. These are the people that this, this, the, this message connects with. This is who this message vibes with, is the brokenhearted, the meek, the ones that, the ones that don't like it here, the ones that hate their lives. All right. It says in the opening of the prison to them that are bound and we're the ones that's bound. And this is a prison, man. All right. This, when you're in captivity, you're in prison, man. Now, of course, you're not behind a cell. But what you're in prison to the system, you know, and it says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and a day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that morning. Who's mourning? The ones that want to get the hell out of here, the broken hearted. Those are the ones mourning, not the ones that want to stay here and make the best of things here. Those are not the brokenhearted ones. The brokenhearted ones are the ones that know it's not going to get good here. It's, it's downhill from here, and they want to get the hell out of here. And they want the destruction of this place. And it says, verse 3, To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. And, and who's the one that mourn in Zion? The elect of Israel, man. Those are the ones that's mourning in Zion. 
Because you got you got most of our people that are not mourning in Zion. They don't even they don't even think they're Zion. They don't even think they they don't want to believe they're Israelites. They want to stay here in this American life and they want to make the best of things here. And they ain't gonna fly with the Lord, man. All right, so that's, that's why this message is not for everyone. That's the majority of our people. They want to make the best of it here. All right, and says, they don't see nothing else besides here. And it says to give unto them beauty for ashes, the the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise to the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, and it says, And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. And they shall repair the waste cities. The desolations of many generations. That's what the Lord building back the nation of Israel. And, and bring them back to their great glory. Through his son, Yahweh Shai. All right, that's, that's, that's what we're waiting for, man. Because we're broken right now, man. Our desolations are wasted, man. You, you got the devil in our, in our land now. Look, look what he's doing. To our land, all right? Look what we're doing here, even in the land of our captivity. The majority of our people still don't want to get right. All right? And it says, um, And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your wine, your vine dressing. And that's these other nations going to be un under captivity under us. All right? They're going to be in servitude under us. All right? And it says, what? They're, they're, and the strangers, and strangers shall stand and feed your flocks. And the strangers being what? Those are the Gentiles, man. Because you go into where strangers, and it says the word alien, it's a foreigner, man. Not no alien like some ET shit. A, a alien just means a foreigner. Just like you call the just like they call the uh, northern tribes illegal aliens, man. Not of the land. But really, this is their land technically, but you know, that's another story. And it says, um, verse 6, But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory... Shall you boast yourselves? What in their glory? With everything they have, we're gonna boast ourselves because they're gonna belong to us, man. All right, and that, and that goes to show that all the nations are not gonna receive salvation from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Everybody's not gonna get the benefits of the kingdom of heaven, man. The, only the Israelites, the, the Zion is gonna get the benefits of the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, and it's, it's the only way the Lord had it to be, man. You just be thankful you from the blood of uh, the, the line. And you, you know, most importantly, to hope you're part of the elect of Israel because those are the ones that are gonna get first dibs on the kingdom, man. In the kingdom. And it says, For your shame ye shall have double, and for, for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. So what? For all of what we're going through, all of what we're going through right now, the double, it's going to be double in the kingdom, man. But in righteousness side, we're going to have double the happiness, double the portion of these gents, of, of everything, man. And that double, best believe, that's a very strong double, man. All right? It says, For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And that's who? The Israelites, man. All right? So no matter how you slice it, it's for the Israelites. This, this covenant that the Lord made with Israel. Matter of fact, I'm going to come back to that. One of my favorites. This is the book of Hebrews, just in case, you know, people get that Old Testament feeling in them, like, oh, that's the Old Testament. Well, let's go into the New Testament, the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, and I'm going to start at, um, it's actually, it's all good, but I want to get to the point. I started verse 5. This is Hebrews, chapter 8, verse 5. Who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things, as Moses was admonished of Yahweh when he was about to make the tabernacle. For see, say if the see if he say if he that thou make all things according to the pattern showed to thee in the mount. But now have he obtained a more excellent ministry. By now, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, and who's it them? He said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Point blank period, man. That's who the covenant was with back then, and that's who the covenant is with now. All right? So when it talks about the seed of the Gentiles, seed in amongst the Gentiles, it's those Israelites that scattered amongst the Gentiles. And mentally, too, because now you got people that look like Israelites, and they're still amongst the Gentiles, being Gentiles like mine. All right? Uh, establish upon a better promise. It says, For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For before. Verse 8, for finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. 
not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they have, oh, what the hell? It says, because they have continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. Now, that's from Egypt to now. That's when the Lord said he regarded us not. And that's why we're in America right now serving a captivity. And it says, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. Now, the Lord is only is clearly addressing the Israelites only, man. Talk about the old covenant with Israel. And now there's a new covenant with the house of Israel. Well, what? The 12 tribes of Israel, man. The sons of Jacob. From the line of Abraham, Isaac, on down to Jacob, where the covenant lies and ends, man. And it starts with Abraham and ends with Jacob, man. There's nobody else in it. That's the bloodline. That's the bloodline of the covenant. That's the bloodline of the chosen. All right? And it said, And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all know me. For, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. You know, and that's pretty much it. It says, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. It says, and that he saith, it says, and verse the last verse, and in that he saith a new covenant he hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. So that's the, the Lord having a new covenant. We're basically just reiterating the old covenant, but it's going to be a new covenant to where he's going to put it in our, um, put it in us, put the laws in our heart and our mind. Well, I think he said it. I, I just read that part. Yeah, he said, I will put my laws into their minds. So that's that's the new covenant where he's going to put the laws into our minds so where we can't go off. We're not going to be able to go off because he's going to he's going to automatically put it in our mechanics to not go off. But. Going back to Isaiah. 61. Verse. Uh. Verse, I'm going to read verse 8 again. It says, For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them, they, that they are the blessed seed which the Lord hath blessed. Where the, what, the blessed seed? The blessed seed of who? Jacob. That's the seed. That's the blessed seed. You can't get around it, man. That's the Lord's order. That's his program. Or you can't you can't get into it by just saying you're an Israelite or just you, I'm from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, you have to be you have to be really from that bloodline, and the, and the people from that bloodline have a certain spirit on them. All right, it's called a Holy Spirit. Even though our people are acting like fools right now, but even them they still have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. So reading on, that's just pretty much it. So yeah, man, you know. So yeah, man, you know, hey, it's, it, it's not for everyone right now, man. It's definitely it's not for all of Israel, and it's definitely not for all for no other nation except for Israelite, man. All right, this, 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 you can't get around it. This is not for everyone. All right, this is a special this is a special program. You need special. This is this is this is elite, and it's very very um uh uh, uh no access. All right, everyone has have is low access to this, man. All right, so if you're not under your how about Shimei or Shai on this side. You you it's, 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 you have to wait till you have to wait till the actual kingdom is established, man. But to the ones that's gonna be delivered out of this, those are the ones that the Lord is dealing with right now. Those are the ones that's broken hearted. Alright, those are the ones that's meek. Those are the ones that's broken hearted in Zion, and Zion being synonymous with being Israel. Alright, so you know with that, I'm gonna just say hopefully this is edifying. Give all praise to you. How about Shimmy Awashai? Hey, uh love, shalom.